grade 5 math number 20, partial quotients. We're going to solve division problems by using partial quotients. Bob eats 24 hot dogs every week. How many weeks will it take him to eat 312? Well, we need to take the 312 and divide it by 24. So we can split the 312 into easier parts. I know that 24 times 10 is 240. And I take the 240 from the 312, and it equals 72. That tells us how much we have left to divide, OK? So now we have 240 plus 72. So 240 divided by 24 plus 72 divided by 24. Well, 24 times 3 is 72, so I know that one's 3. And I knew that one was 10 because that was an easy one. So we have 10 plus 3 is 13. See? Partial quotients. He eats 13 hot dogs a week. Yikes, that's almost two a day, isn't it? OK, now we can use partial quotients and repeated subtraction. Emma jogged 564 miles last year. How many miles did she run each month? Well, it only gave us one number, but it gave us a clue. How many miles did she run each month? And it was for a year. So we know there's 12 months to a year, so we must need to divide 564 by 12. I know that 12 times 10 is 120, so I can take that away from it. Because remember, we're using repeated subtraction. So we took that away. Then we were left with 444. So I know I can take another 120 away, another 10 times 12. Well, that brings us to 324. So I know I can take another one away. That brings us to 204. I can still take another one away. That brings us to 84. So now 12 times 7 is 84. I can add the 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 that we got all the 120s with, plus that 7, and I know that it's 47. So partial quotients of 10 and a 7 got us the answer. OK? That's repeated subtraction. Just doing subtraction of ones you know, like times 10. OK? This one is a divide, then divide again. Six people ate 1,314 pounds of jelly beans in three years. How many pounds of jelly beans did one person eat in one year? Well, we're going to have to divide the 1,314 pounds by six people. Then whatever that comes out to, we're going to have to divide it by the three years. So we're going to have to divide, come up with an answer, then divide again. OK? So here's the 1,314 divided by the six people, and we're going to do repeated subtraction, OK? I know that 6 times 100 is 600. So we'll do times 100. We'll take that away from the 1,314 and get 714. I can still take away another 600, so I can do another 100 times 6. That brings us to 114. Now I can do a 10 times 6 and take away a 60. That brings us to 54, and I know 6 times 9 is 54. So now we can add the 100, 100, 10, and 6, and I know that it's 219 pounds per person. That is the number we've got to divide into 3, because that's for 3 years, OK? Now we need to find out for each year. So we have 3 years going into 219. Well, I know 30 times 3 is 90, so I could take that away. That leaves us with 129. I can do another 30 times 3, which is 90, and take another 90 away. That leaves us with 39. I know 10 times 3 is 30, so we can take a 30 away. That leaves us with 9, and 3 times 3 is 9. We get a 0 left over, so now we can add the 30, the 30, the 10, and the 3, and we get 73 pounds per person per year. My goodness, each one of these people ate 73 pounds of jelly beans per person per year? That's a lot of sugar. So those are a few different ways that you could use partial quotients to help you solve division problems. All right? We're going to keep talking about division, and I'll see you next video. Bye.